Okay, so um, I bought a 2016 Gibson Les Paul Studio High Performance. I, I got a problem and uh, I didn't really see this problem uh, coming so until I got the guitar and I putting on my the strings that I'm using that's 9 to 46 and the guitar will not keep tuning very good so I did some investigation and I noticed that the this little titanium uh, nut is only made for 9 to 9 to 42 strings which means that putting on 46 means that the string will not go in the saddle well in the in the nut I should say in the you know in the slot you know this is titanium so it's kind of like a, a very hard material to work with and I don't really have any files that uh, tiny to uh, get the, the slot a little bit wider uh, so I was thinking maybe I'll just go ahead and buy a grab tech nut and you know get a an, an replacement nut insert that came out back in 2015 you know the base of the nut itself will still be there but you take away the uh, this this little nut piece that that is uh, with the slots that is holding with two screws in in the the bottom part of the nut i did some little bit of inv investigation and i'll show you in a picture uh, right now what the difference is and as you can see in the picture the titanium nut is from a 2016 model and the replacement uh, tusk uh, nut is from a 2015 model they are totally different i cannot buy a 2015 gibson replacement uh, tusk nut because it will not fit my 2016 les paul studio high performance okay so i was thinking i'll go ahead and uh, try to dig up uh, just any kind of tusk nut I mean there is uh, hundreds of them well not really but uh, for Gibson guitars perhaps something about uh, I think uh, I think at least uh, five or ten of them that is a pre pre notched with well with slots in them you just do some tiny modifications to get them fit on on the guitar itself however i cannot do that either because uh these uh these uh, um nuts that is pre-slotted and all that kind of stuff they're not uh, either wide enough or they are not uh, deep enough or you know they will not fit on my 2016 Gibson Les Paul Studio because the measurements are all wrong. <sighs> okay, so I was thinking, okay, maybe GrabTech is... Um, I would like to have a GrabTech, but you know, maybe I, I'll just get some raw material from GrabTech and make my own nut. So uh, I was looking on the material for black... Uh, uh, tusk and uh, looks kind of cool but the measurements are not good enough it's all wrong because the uh, nut on this 2016 model is uh, is a little bit wider well the wideness is, has nothing to do with it but the nut itself is not deep enough it needs to be all kind of like six well over six millimeter uh, deep and uh, most raw materials and you know from tusk what I can see is kind of like uh, four millimeter five millimeter at the most 
and that will not fit my 2016 Gibson Les Paul Studio high performance. <sighs> so I was thinking now I am some deep shit. I didn't see this one coming. Of course I can make a brand new nut from you know bone or anything like that. There's only one little problem. And that problem is, it's a hell of a lot of work to do that. I didn't see this one coming and, uh, you know, I'm not going back to 9 to 42 that I used to use more than 10 years ago. It's not my type of string. You know, I bought this guitar to have a project guitar. So, with that meaning, I bought this guitar just to take rip out all the electronics, all the hardware, tuners, everything and just keep the, you know, the guitar itself, neck and body and then put down some really, you know, expensive stuff that I decided the most on this guitar and I don't want it to fail on the nut, so I'm not sure the reason I was thinking about Tusk is actually because uh, I can get a black nut and uh, I don't like the idea of a white nut when everything else on the guitar is black. So, you know, um, I need to do some thinking here. Maybe I just have to sell a whole goddamn guitar just to get rid of this uh, titanium uh, titanium uh, nut thing and just buy another guitar I guess well I don't like that idea so but you know the reason I cannot use this uh, nut is uh, as I said I I'm using uh, 9s to 46 and this uh, titanium nut is not made for that kind of string so let me go ahead and show you a picture where you can clearly see that the string is not uh, seated properly uh, in the slot. So that's pretty much what I'm thinking right now. Um, I don't like the idea of a white bone nut, so that's probably not gonna happen. I cannot find um, any black material, a tusk that is uh, deep enough to fit this guitar. So I don't know. Well, I gotta do some thinking about this. Um, let me go ahead and show you just quickly before I wrap up this video and see. Uh, I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So this is the nut right here. Um, this is a titanium nut, as I said. It's not the same as uh, uh, 2015. Uh, so, and you can see that this nut is very deep. This uh, this right here is kind of like uh, 6.3 millimeter deep, and that is way more than uh, just a regular any regular Gibson nut that is. Um, also you can see here that the angle of this string in particular is not very good for this type of saddle here. Uh, well this type of nut here I should say because it's a it's such a hard pressure here that the string will grab and hold into this edge of the nut here that will cause a major problem even though if I would about to widen the slot here it would still get a grip of this saddle because this is metal if this would be a bone or any other material uh, it wouldn't do it wouldn't be a problem but since this is metal uh, that is not a great idea and I think that's the reason why Gibson went away from these type of nuts because it's nuts to be using them. And this is also a little bit of a problem here. So, you know, this is just a piece of shit right there. 
So that's it guys, um, this is just a little a video just uh, about my little bit about my thoughts about these uh, nut problems I have here on my new Gibson Les Paul Studio 2016 model high performance. Now this guitar is uh, a great guitar, uh, I'm not going to take away that. But I don't like these titanium nuts, that is for sure. I do not like that. Absolutely not. So until next time, take care now. Bye bye then.